bless you and welcome. This one is on N I M B Y. Not in my backyard. Ah, it's an enduring term I like to use when I talk about the homeless. I'm sweet on you too. <laughs> yeah, not really. <laughs> the homeless are is like you know the redheaded stepchild of the family. Ew, we don't like you. Um, yeah, I can relate to not in my backyard on multiple levels. Yeah, some of you in houses, I feel the same way. <laughs> I don't like these. Um, the old, some of the older people are very cantankerous. Um, I don't know if I would just say the older or... Because um, some of the older people really hate the newbies <laughs> moving in. And um, maybe the richies. I don't know what you want to name. But there's just the people who are really cantankerous against the homeless. I don't like you in my backyard. <laughs> Wherever my car is parked, that's my backyard. <laughs> Um, yeah, I know when I lived in a home, um, they were talking about bringing a, um, campground in, like, within a mile. <gasps> oh, I didn't like that. Um, and there was a media blitz about how ex-cons and they got out of prison. They didn't have references, so they really couldn't get a place, so their only option was a campground, because you don't need a reference for a campground. And while I did camp in my youth, um, camping for a few days versus having it, like, within a mile of your house, I really was not comfortable with that concept. It's like, hmm. There's so many other places you could fit that other than like a mile or so from this house. Like, go away. Um, and like I, I have said, um, some of the newbies moving in, even in housing, is alarming. <laughs> like, Snapchat, shot. what are you doing to Venice? Like, if you're so, like, icky and culty and boring and uh, mind-numbing, why not? Why didn't you go to, like, Lancaster? And you could have bought a whole bunch of land and then put a great big wall around it. And like everyone would have to look the same and dress the same. And you could all be in your little cot. Why did you come into Venice? It's so colorful and fun. And you're screwing with it. Stop buying everything up and running everyone out. Not cool. And I don't like the guards. And I'm glad I'm not seeing them around as much. But I know you've got them hiding somewhere because you're creepy. Um... And I can feel not in my backyard towards some of the newbies and um, in the homeless community and the minimalist. And I know I'm not the only one that feels uncomfortable with them. Um, they just have a very different mentality. Um, I don't know how much of it is arrogance and how much of it is ignorance on some on some points. I mean, it's like they think that this is a campground. It's like, move your vehicle. Because um, typically, you know, you have a spot where you park during the day and then a spot where you park at night, even if it's just a half a mile away from each other. Like, you move your vehicle, and these newbies just, like, will let their vehicle sit for, like, months. Um, if they do move, that's also problematic because um, Cali is, like, really fragile. It rains and the mountains fall down. It, um, the coast will fall in. Um, there was a service truck that kept... kept Hopping the curb, the um, and he was stressing out the um seawall, and eventually a whole big old chunk fell in. Um, they've reinforced it partly, but now we have these newbies who that have come in, and you have not just a truck hopping it once a week, but you have like vehicles and massive RVs hopping the curb and parking on the seawall that's not completely enforced. That will fall in. We will not get that back. Like, in the authorities aren't doing anything. It's like, we already... Like, how much money did you just spend in, like, bringing in, like, all these boulders? It's not some completely secure. And, like, why are you allowing these people to hop the curb? Um, and just a very, like, noiseaholic. They're very noisy, which I can't stand noise. But I've noticed the noise across the board. Homeless, non-homeless in companies, like, the last six months or so. And I, I just... I can't stand it. It's like, be quiet. Like, can we at least have, like, you know, morning hour quiet? But it's just loud everywhere. If you approach it, approach it with them, they get a little cock and attitude, ignore you, just be ass you. It's like, not me, man. It's the other dude. Or everyone's doing it. No, they're not. And if you would turn down your, <laughs> turn it off for like two seconds, you would notice that you are the only one doing it. The rest of us are chilling silently. 
you know, it's just like, shut up. Like, didn't come here to listen. I don't go anywhere to listen to your music. No one does. If you want to blast out your ears, go ahead. Put in earbuds, put on headphones, blast away. I don't, I don't want to listen to what you're listening to. And I don't want to lose my hearing because you can't get it back. You just can't. Um, but yeah, it's just, yeah, it's just concerning. And I know like with the wildlife, I know we had this baby seal the other year. Oh my gosh, his mama died. There's actually people like buying him seafood and bringing it to him to make sure he was getting food. He spent a lot of time up on shore and on the rocks. Um, he was really struggling. He survived. He's still with us. Uh, he's so cute. Um, but it was alarming. Like one of the newbies, um, street newbies, um, he didn't last long here at least. Um, but I saw him and he's like out on the rocks, like with his hands on the seal trying to get him, save him and get him back in the water. <gasps> Don't do that. There's like, and especially with like little, little animals, little baby seals, that that's dinner for a lot of animals. Um, you just don't touch the wildlife. These seals do come up onto shore, so just leave them be. They're, they're running away from a predator. Let them rest. Um, so yeah, but it's frustrating and a lot of people don't want to hear that they, um, don't know everything. Um... Not in my backyard. Um, some interesting fun facts about the homeless. Um, there's a lot of misconceptions about us. So, in brief, here we go. I'm going to let you in on a secret. Are you ready? We're human too. We don't stop being human because we're homeless. <laughs> are you for real? Like, I can't believe the amount of people that are like, uh, you eat twice a year, right? On like Thanksgiving and Christmas. Yes, we do eat on Thanksgiving and Christmas. And all the other days of the year too. Our stomach does not disappear. Our bowels and bladder do not disappear. Nothing changes except for society makes us illegal. <laughs> um, yeah, we still need sleep. And we probably need more rest and sleep than most people. Because there are quite a few disabled and injured people within the community. Some of the um, accidents people in this community have been in just <laughs> makes me cringe. I know that. It's just like, <gasps> what happened? Like rods, pins, like, and then sometimes, sometimes you can't see the injuries. Sometimes the injuries are very obvious and just makes me want to throw up sometimes. But, um, yeah, we're still human across the board, no matter how much you want to demean us, devalue us, and criminalize us it doesn't, that doesn't change anything. <laughs> it just doesn't. Um, as for piss, cause a lot of people complain about, oh, it's this, like they always blame the homeless for everything. Um, I can't tell you how many guys I see that who are obviously not homeless, um, peeing and like there can be a bathroom like really close and they just won't use it. It doesn't matter if it's in parking lots or, um, in more natural surroundings. It's just like, ugh. And if you're in a parking lot, please put a cup of water on it and dilute it some. It stinks so bad. But, um, so, yeah. Um, you can get rid of all the homeless. You're still going to have a stench of piss in certain areas. Definitely certain areas are worse because there are more homeless. And like I said, we're human. We need to eat. And, um, when we eat and drink stuff, it, it has to come out. And, I mean, seriously, what do you want? There's no bathrooms open at night. If you find a rare one that's open, they don't want homeless using it. And we're human. So, what do you expect us to do? Um, I know I, I put my vote in for human bags. Human piddle and pee bags. Um, we have doggy bags. We have diaper bags. So, hey, let, let's go for human bags. You know, you have a post for doggies and grab a dog bag. Let's do that for humans. Don't want to pit up, you know, bathrooms or keep them open at night. We need something. Let's do that. And then people can pee and pee and poo in bags, tie it up, and throw it in a trash can. There you go. I don't know if you were like, oh, no, we can't put up bathrooms. What if? What if they do something that's, you know, not going to the bathroom? Like, and what if they are using it for the bathroom? You know, no matter what you do, someone is going to find a way to use it in a way it's not meant to be but you know most people will use it in the way it's meant to be um anywho and the bags are like a great alternative and they're really cheap um so yeah 
Um, and it's really frustrating the amount of like news coverage on the homeless and even on positive um, stories. They still have a very negative undertone to them. Um, you know, one was just going about, oh, they steal. You know, not all homeless steal. And I'd like to know why it's crisis. And even last I heard it was illegal in Miami. Is it still illegal to feed a homeless person? That's creepy. That is evil. Um, but yeah. Um, why, why is it okay that, what are we up to? Six oil companies that make over $50 billion in profits per quarter? That's gouging, which is theft, which is illegal. Why... Why are people okay with million and billionaires stealing from you day in and day out, pitting you in the poorhouse while they have more money than they can spend in a lifetime? And yet, no one's really griping about the politicians and the companies. No one's, no one's really, you can pick up a paper and you don't, don't see really much complaining or demand for change, but you cannot pick up a paper without seeing the homeless and demonizing them and demanding them to get gone and apartments i know people are like we just need to put up apartments you don't need to spend that much money because let me tell you ew i i i tried an apartment three years into being homeless i tried an apartment gross no i'd rather be my vehicle um yes there's lots of hardships that go with this but i'd rather be in a vehicle than in an apartment and i am not alone i know lots of men who would rather either be outside or in their vehicle, whether it's an RV, a van, a truck, what have you. They'd rather be in a vehicle than in an apartment. An apartment and creepy shelters are not the answers. Think smaller. Fiddle and poo bags. Maybe, maybe instead of a great big parking or apartment complex, you can just put up a parking lot since we're not supposed to park anywhere at night. And we can park there for free. And it can be quiet and level. Because that's important. Be quiet and level and not too bright. Um, so yeah. Um, oh, it's really getting dark. Anywho, um, yeah, and we still need sleep. To make sleep illegal is asinine. To, <laughs> we're not supposed to park in residential areas, near churches, near schools, and then even in business areas. They have it where you're not supposed to park there a lot of times. And it's just like for a couple hours at night. Stop fighting us. You people, this world, this nation keeps going on about diversity. Embrace diversity. Diversity is good. LA, here's your chance. America, here's your chance. Embrace us. We mean you no harm. It would be really nice if you didn't mean us any harm either. It would be nice if you worked with us instead of against us. If you can legalize illegals, well then there's no reason why you should be illegalizing citizens. And that's exactly what you're doing to the homeless. You're treating us like shit and it's absolutely inappropriate. Your hatred and discrimination is absolutely inappropriate. There's no reason for it. There's no need that we cannot live. There's no reason why we cannot live in peace together. I'm not coming into your house. As long as we are quiet and clean, there's no reason. So let's, let's get to it. Let's have mail that people can, on their own, go get a mailbox. Let's have it where banks and other companies will send you stuff to a box. Let's have places where we can wash up that doesn't involve going to a creepy shelter. Let's put into some solar panels into parkways with bathrooms, private bathrooms and showers to take the sting off of it. Let's, if you don't want to look at um, street people stuff, let's get some shelter or storage where they can have access every day as need be. Because SoCal does get cold. We go down into the 40s and the winter, sometimes the 30s. Night is coming. What are you expecting? You have, you, there's one place I know, and they're open like two, three days a week. Night's coming. They need their blankets at night. Legalize parking. Legalize sleep. 
get real with disability checks and food. Um, there's absolutely no reason why we can't solve this peacefully. Stop the hatred.